Well, some really intense wind here and some snow, of course, but there's been weather events in other states, too. Here's a look at the mess on I-84 in Idaho this morning. Troopers there say they responded to 28 crashes involving more than 60 vehicles. Idaho State Police say 11 happened in just a one-mile stretch involving 33 vehicles. I-84 westbound is now back open. Well, this video from a county in Central California where they're just down to two out of 10 snowblowers because their equipment couldn't handle the amount of snow that they saw. In South Lake Tahoe, the snow drifted as high as doorways and covered cars, kind of like last year's winter here in Utah. The National Weather Service says in the mountains around Tahoe, weekend winds were up to 120 miles per hour. Whew. Some parts of the Lake Tahoe area got over 80 inches of snow. This weekend in Utah, solitude and Park City Mountain got the most snow with nearly two feet in 48 hours. So it was extremely active, not only for us here in Utah, but for California. They're now above average here for snowpack, so they're they're doing pretty healthy, but you can definitely have too much of a, a good thing, especially for the, the ski resorts. Well, we had the wind here, too. I was out, I had a friend in town, and we, we wanted to, to get the goods. We right. wanted to go experience the greatest snow on Earth, right? And I'm and, sure everyone else did, too. And everybody and their extended family was also there, but the problem was the wind was just so crazy right. that most of the lifts weren't running anyway. So those lift lines, unlike anything I've ever experienced, let's cut that out. Yeah, we're probably yeah. Going like bunny this. slopes for you. Uh, whatever was open. Yeah. I mean, really, I, we got a couple. Could you things. even see? The visibility wasn't bad on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. It got a little bit worse, but oh, we got down some good stuff. Don't you worry. Didn't have to we've stay got, on the bunny slope. We've got some better conditions this week. Good news.